This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the market reminded me of the old Timex watch commercials from the 60s. It takes a licking and it keeps on ticking. There's so much going on right now. As the war in Ukraine continues, NATO is fighting back through economic sanctions. Oil, wheat, and other commodities have gone parabolic. Inflation stands at a 40-year high, and the Federal Reserve is still expected to raise rates and tighten financial conditions next week. Now, the biggest surprise to me this week is the market isn't crashing. Like the old Timex commercial says, it's taking a licking, but it keeps on ticking. Now, to be clear, the problems I listed are real and may get worse. But so far, the S&P 500 has experienced only a 10% correction, which you can argue was actually overdue. We have not had a 10% correction in the market since the big COVID drop back in March of 2020. And 10% corrections have occurred once per year on average since 1930 and have lasted on average about 54 days before lifting more than 10% from their trading bottom. Now, meanwhile, sentiment is incredibly poor with some of the worst readings I've seen in years. The level of bearishness is on par with what we witnessed during the COVID collapse in 2020 and in late 2018 when the S&P 500 fell 20%. Keep in mind, sentiment is a contrary indicator. When investors are bearish, like now, historically, it represents an excellent buying opportunity. Markets move mostly on the gap between investors' expectations and reality. And as recent surveys show, the former is extremely low right now, while the reality is the economy is on solid fundamental footing. Job openings outnumbered available workers by nearly 5 million in January. 678,000 new jobs were added as the unemployment rate fell to 3.8%. U.S. household net worth just topped $150 trillion. That's a trillion with a T for the highest number in history rising a whopping 8.2% from the previous quarter. Now, to put that number in perspective, it stood at about $75 trillion back in 2008, about half of where it is now. Americans have never been this wealthy. While no one can or should time a correction in the market, in my experience, a widening gap between investor expectations and reality happens at the end of a stock market correction, not at its beginning. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 65 years of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text right now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.